everyone. My name's Jared, and I'm from Read What You Sow. So today I was thinking, let's talk worms. What do I mean by worms? Are we just going to be talking about earthworms? No. Let's talk worm castings. Do you know how beneficial and how much nutrients that worm castings produce? They have over like 10,000 microorganisms that they poop. You know, you can get technical, but I'm not that type of person. You know, I'm just down to earth, simple, country type of person. Yeah, I'm educated, I got a degree, but that doesn't mean anything to me. So we can call it vermicompost. You know, if you want to get technical, but it's basically just worm poop. You know, the worms eat what you put in and it breaks it down to uh, the, the poop, they poop it out. <laughs> I don't know what better way to say it, you know. But anyway, this worm casting is so beneficial, guys, to your plants. Now, I'm guilty. I did it just for my tomatoes. My tomatoes look awesome. I think we did it for, yeah, we did do it for the uh, peppers. We sure did. I did not do it for the pole beans and the field garden. But that's changing, you know. I'm sitting right here on a gold mine. It's full of worm castings. So, what you do is you take a teaspoon or a tablespoon of this worm casting. So, when you go to plant your seed, you dig your hole, you put that worm casting in there. You can also put that bone meal organic uh, compost stuff that I have in that bag. If you have that and you've ordered it, you can use that. But you put that seed in that worm casting. That worm casting, that is the top of the line fertilizer that you can get. I don't care what anybody tells you. This is the top of the line, worm casting. So you take that worm casting and you put it in that hole. You place your seed into that hole with this worm casting and you do your covering up and stuff. But guys, let me tell you what that seed setting in that worm casting becomes. It becomes disease resistant. This, these microorganisms, all organic formers are going to tell you this. These microorganisms, I guess they germinate inside this seed, you know. I'm not scientific, so I don't know how it happens. It happens, it works, is it. So, you've got your worm casting in there. Also, what worm casting is good for that I just learned because I don't know everything. I'm learning myself. I'm a big Google type person. I like to research, look, and dig. I love that. And so what I did was started looking this stuff up, this worm casting stuff. And I wanted to see what I got. I wanted to see what I can do for my next crop to make it a little bit better. Yes. My crop, my, my garden has produced over and abundantly. And you know, guys, some of you that has had bad crops, hasn't doing good, I wished you lived close to me because I would share it with you. You know, that's the type of person I am. I don't have a problem sharing. But back to this worm compost. So we've got our seed planted in that worm compost. So that is also going to help. Remember I told you it prevents disease. Okay, root rot. These microorganisms are protecting your roots from this seed that is growing. So you've got protection down below. All right, the seed breaks forth, springs up. Guess what, guys? What's the next thing to do? You take the worm casting and you sprinkle it around the top portion of your plant. And you know what this does? It protect, protects the plants from the aphids. It also protects from the white flies. I haven't done this yet, but I've been researching and studying up on it. It protects from the white flies and other little pests uh, that, oh, I forgot what they called it. Pests like the aphids and the white flies and stuff. That's what it, it'll protect on top. It said that the microorganism puts off like a uh, 
smell. And the aphids and stuff doesn't like it. So it's supposed to protect the plant. I know that there has to be a way, guys. You know, getting back to what God created. We have all this stuff, you know, and the Bible says there's no new thing under the sun. So what did they do in the days when they didn't have pesticides, when they didn't have all these uh chemicals to try to kill bugs and stuff and we don't we don't spray the chemicals i'm just stating for a fact you know and if you do use chemicals on your garden i have nothing against you that's you and your homestead you know we should all get along but you see these buckets right here this is the food that i brought come on girl come on this is the food that i brought to uh feed these worms and uh, so in here, I save my coffee grounds, and uh, I save like eggshells I put in there. Like we had some beets, I uh, chopped them up small. I put them in there. I don't have to, but I like to chop them up. Uh, we've got like carrot peelings, uh, all different kinds of stuff that I put in here to uh, feed these. And uh, so I'm gonna pull this back and I'm going to dump this food in here, and I'm going to feed the worms. I let Willow and Daniel out to uh, move around a little bit, and if you've noticed, Willow has a new bandage on her head uh, because she's done to figure out how to tear that one off. So what we did do was Todd suggested taking an old sock and cut it, and I stretched it out, and I layered it with that uh, maxi pad. It glued up under there, stuck. And then I slipped that on her head and I taped it right here. Okay, Miss Willow, you gotta get down. All right, guys, so let's take a look at these worms. Guys, you do not have to have some big type of fancy worm bed. This was an old uh, feeding trough that we had that uh, Todd made a worm bed out of it. So we started this bed. He's got like a hole in here, y'all, to where he drills uh, a hole so when we wet this down, uh, if too much water in it, uh, it'll drip into the bucket. And guys, guess what you have down there? You have your worm teeth. So let's take this and start pulling this back. Look, look at there. I mean, can you see how many it is? Let me see if I can move you closer. Okay, I'm not a professional, guys. <laughs> so let's dig down. Look at the worms. See the worms? We're gonna dig on down. Look at the worms. Can you see all those babies? Look at there, you guys. Can you see that? Nothing but worms. All up in here, making all kind of goody stuff for my garden. So I'm going to pull this all back. So what I'm doing is feeding on this side here, guys. It still has a little food left, but it was time to come and feed. So I'm pulling all this back. And so while I feed over here on this side, it makes the worms all migrate to this end to eat. And then that leaves this end open and available for me to get the castings from. So as you would see, I got the eggshells and stuff, so I'm just going to sprinkle all this in there. I've got a little bit of fruit. This one wasn't quite full. A little bit of fruit in there, and you can see some cucumber peelings. I don't use the meat. I don't put any type of meat in here. They say you can, but I don't. All 
Okay, guys, that's what we got right there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover this up. Let me see. Let's look down here and see if we see anything on this end. Their food was kind of low, so they might have uh, migrated and moved down to this end a little bit. No, I don't see any. Yes, I do. See how that is? See them? So, I, the food... Oh, did you see that? Oh, my sweet Jesus! Guys, did you see those rats that come out of there? Oh, my gosh! That's why it was dug down over there. They coming in here eating that food. Oh, there's another one. You see it, guys? <laughs> oh! <laughs> How many rats was that? Oh, my sweet Jesus. I'm kind of scared to stick my dang hand up in here, but I need to stir it up and run them out of here. I'm going to have to get a born cat, y'all. Well, I guess we're getting... Worm castings and rat poop. I don't know if that's good. <laughs> Guys, that was a nightmare. <laughs> oh, my Lord. When those rats come out from underneath that dirt... <laughs> I'm lucky I didn't throw the GoPro and run. <laughs> but guys, that is my little story on worm casting. I'm 14 minutes. <laughs> so Todd's going to have to cut this way back. But I appreciate you watching. I want you to go ahead, if you're new, like and subscribe. No telling what you'll see over here. <laughs> it's always something new. But like and subscribe. Hit the bell. So you'll be notified every time we post a new video or anything. And I really appreciate you guys. Thanks. God bless.